Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We have an upper level low that is going to pass by to our east overnight tonight. It'll be replaced by this high pressure system giving us hot temperatures moving in not only for Saturday and Sunday, but also next week. We're going to have these temperatures well above the averages. If you have any plans this weekend for the coast, actually the weather is looking pretty good. We have mainly fair conditions tonight and plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. The wind, though, will be a factor this evening. Anywhere from the north and northwest from 10 to 30 miles per hour, there'll be some higher gusts diminishing later tonight and then kicking back up for tomorrow out of the north and northwest. Highs generally in the 60s and 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s. Moving inland, a cool start for Saturday morning here. As you can see, low temperatures generally in the 50s and 40s and highs tomorrow in the 80s and 90s. Clear tonight, sunny tomorrow. The wind will be out of the west northwest 10 to 20 this evening. Maybe some higher gusts diminishing may kick back up out of the west and northwest for tomorrow, especially during the afternoon evening hours here in Medford, going for a low of 50 and a high of 90 east of the Cascades. We go clear and cool tonight and then sunny tomorrow. Low temperatures in the 30s and 40s and highs tomorrow in the 70s and 80s. However, if you're heading up to Crater Lake, 33 for low, 64 for the high. Don't be fooled. Even with those cooler temperatures, you'll definitely need the sunscreen and also stay hydrated. As you can check it out in the seven day forecast, you'll need the water with temperatures in the 90s, low and mid 90s for highs. Rogue Valley and low temperatures next week, generally in the 50s and 60s. Again, plenty of sunshine. There may be some clouds at times especially on Monday and Tuesday passing through. Climate Basin, you're also looking at plenty of sunshine. Cool starts, highs generally in the 80s to around 90 into next week. And for Mount Shasta City, I have highs in the 80s and 90s, lows in the 40s and 50s, sunshine around, mixing it with some clouds at times, especially on Monday and Tuesday and for the coast. We're going to have high temperatures in the 60s and 70s, lows generally in the 40s and 50s with that Chetco effect on Saturday and Sunday. That's for the Brookings and Harbor area. Those areas may end up even being warmer than what's advertised on Saturday and Sunday.